As we are looking at July, let me take it across to Snehi to get a sense as to what the historical trend for the month of July has been. Let's talk about what the trend has looked like in July over the last 10 years and what we can roughly expect as we head into this month. Now, when we talk about Nifty, Nifty has shown a strong positive price seasonality in July, barring two years which happened to be election years 2014 and 2019. The index has closed nine times in the month of July in the last 10 Julys with an average return of 3.3% and the only negative return was seen in election year 2019 with a negative return of 5.7%. This is on the Nifty front, shifting focus let's talk about how Nifty Midcap has performed historically. Nifty Midcap has exhibited strong seasonality barring both uh, 2014 and 2019 election years. The Midcap Index has closed in the green 8 out of 10 times in the last 10 Julys with an average return of 3.4%. Declines in the last years have been noted in uh, 2014 and 2019. And remember Nifty Midcap has outperformed Nifty 50 for 5 times in the uh, previous 10 Julys. So that's what Nifty, uh, Nifty Midcap has performed like. Sectorally, now let's deep dive and take a look. Nifty Financial and MNC have closed in the green uh, for nine times out of the last 10 Julys. And Snehi, also walk us through how the day has been and how we are closing in on the week. Well, absolutely. So, um, rather uh, flattish moves coming in on the Nifty as of now struggling to just hold above that 24,000 mark is where Nifty is nominally above 24,000. But remember, we did open at 24,000 today for the first time, went I as high as 24,100 on Nifty and we've receded back from those levels. Sensex did see another record high as well. Both Nifty and Sensex uh, saw their record highs for the fourth consecutive session today. Let's bring up, uh, let's first talk about the broader markets because that seemed to be bucking the trend today. Nifty Midcap has hit a record high, small cap also doing pretty well, uh, outperforming the benchmark indices. Nifty Bank happens to be the, the index in, under the most pressure as of now, 1% lower is where Nifty Bank is at. Let's bring up some big buzzers today then, Sami and Polycap. Sami Hotels and Polycap on the back of uh, the block deals we saw today. Let's take a look at how both of those stocks have ended. Star Health was up 5% on its analyst day. Uh, Man Industries has also ended the day with uh, very good moves, Disman Carbogen on the back of uh, uh, it's uh, Switzerland units getting a clean shift from US FDA. We are seeing very good moves coming in uh, for that stock as well. JSW Infra and Navgar Corp that have been um, the talk of the uh, street today in the morning on the back of that 70% acquisition. Both of those stocks seem to have ended in the green as well, a 3% uptick coming in for JSW Infra. Let's also pull up some gas stocks today, Mahanagar Gas and Indranagar Gas, MGL and IGL, both of them were in focus. Good moves coming in on IGL as well as MGL, MGL stellar moves, in fact 7% higher is where that stock is closed. Let's also take a look at what KPIT Tech has done and very good moves uh, coming for KPIT Tech as well at the end of the day, almost 5% higher. Energy, Pharma, PSU Banks, Metal Realty, FMCG Auto, these are your indices in the green. On the flip side, you have a media financial services as well as Nifty Bank. Nifty Bank being under the most pressure. But well, yes, that's a wrap on uh, closing trades today. Thanks so much for watching. Slightly uh, around 24,000, 24,009 is where we've ended with the Nifty today. If you like this video, then like, share, and subscribe to ET Now.